Twitch. They've got a bit of a problem on their hands again, which honestly is something that happens like every other week for them, so I'm not surprised. Don't get me wrong, I do think that Twitch as a platform has all sorts of potential, that it's basically the only real competitor to YouTube, and that really, they should be doing pretty well. But man, their execution is just so bad. There's something about the way they run Twitch, it just doesn't work. Sometimes I find it honestly hard to believe that they're owned by Amazon, because they seem to treat even their own rules like they don't exist. And now we've got a brand new example of it, the Twitch hot tub meta. Hey guys, Matteo here. Drop a like in the video and hit subscribe if you haven't already. As a small but growing channel, that helps me so much. And don't forget to say hello to me down in the comments. Now let's get back to talking about some hot tubs. So what do I mean when I say the Twitch hot tub meta? Basically, it's how a lot of these streamers on Twitch, a video game streaming website, have decided to just sit in hot tubs on the beach or even, in most cases, just like buy a little inflatable pool and set it up in the middle of their living room instead of actually playing video games on the website. Because honestly, it does turn out that you can make a ton more money in donations and subscriptions if you're on camera, in your bathing suit, in an inflatable pool in your living room, than you can play in video games. Some of these girls have taken it to the extreme, having donation things where you pay $5 and maybe they twerk, you know, they dance for every subscriber or something in their bathing suit, in their living room, in a pool. It's insanity. And I do want to mention though that I actually don't mind them doing all that. I don't really care. I'm a capitalist. They're capitalists. We're all trying to make a buck. And if Twitch is going to allow it, I don't blame the girls for doing this. I'm just saying that on a website where the main viewers are teenage boys, it's an incredibly easy way to make a living. And I don't think that you could blame anybody for doing it. I mean, if I could pull it off, I'd be in front of a hot tub 24-7 raking in those fat stacks of Twitch cash. But unfortunately, I'm a big, strong, bearded man. Also attractive, good looking, smart. But that's besides the point. I don't think that uh, Twitch's core audience of teenage boys would really want to watch me in a hot tub, so uh, I can't do that. But I don't blame anybody who is. What I really have a problem with is Twitch. How can they continue to market themselves as a family-friendly streaming service if their top streams are literally nothing more than softcore pornography? On top of that, it makes Twitch look incompetent. They put rules in place a couple of years ago that you had to wear appropriate clothing on stream, which only allowed for people to wear swimsuits in the appropriate settings. You know, like you can wear your swimsuit at the beach on stream, or in a pool on stream, or in a hot tub on stream. But each one of these streamers is looking at that rule and basically saying that they're not going to follow it. They're going to skirt that rule as much as they can. So they're going to go down to Walmart, they're going to buy themselves a $40 inflatable pool, and they're going to set that thing up in their living room. Which, I gotta say, is, is kind of ridiculous. Imagine going over to somebody's house and they just got a pool set up in their living room. But anyway, they're, they're skirting the rules. They're basically telling Twitch that they're not going to follow the rules, and if Twitch puts rules in place, they're going to find a way around them. Which is, you know, kind of a bad look for Twitch, that nobody cares about the rules whatsoever. And these girls are kind of right about this, because they can get away with it. Because Twitch's rules are not enforced at all. So why should anybody follow them? I mean, they even have a policy on sexually suggestive content, and it says that sexually suggestive content or activities are also prohibited, although they may be allowed in educational contexts or for pre-approved and licensed content, in each case subject to additional restrictions. Now with that in mind, I'm going to put up a screenshot of one of the Twitch pages right now as I'm recording this, and I want you to ask yourself, does this seem sexually suggestive? Do you think that this is educational in any way? So it's definitely not exempt from that rule. So uh, I think it is pretty sexually suggestive and I honestly think that it probably breaks the rules, but Twitch doesn't care. If I didn't tell you that that screenshot was on Twitch right now, you could honestly have mistaken it for literally any adult camming website. So I do think that this content breaks Twitch's rules as they're written. It's definitely sexually suggestive and I don't see how anybody can argue against that. And rightfully, a lot of people were saying that Twitch needs to do something. They need to stop this. I mean, these streams had just taken over the just chatting category until like a week ago to the point where if you were on like public transport, right? You want to watch your favorite stream while you're coming home from work, for school, you're on the bus. You open up just chatting to look at all the streamers there and the old lady sitting next to you is going to think that you're on an adult website. That's all I'm saying. What does Twitch do about this? Do they ban these streamers? No, they don't. Do they do something else? Yeah, and it's not great. Honestly, I think Twitch just wants to sink their platform like the Titanic because they've had an enforcement problem forever. For some reason, they never seem to enforce their rules, and it weirdly always involves enforcement against women where they don't take any action to fix the problem. Except basically coming out and saying that there's not a problem in cases where there clearly is a problem. So I don't know, their enforcement has been lacking for a long time. I honestly think that the Twitch enforcement team is run by a fraternity down the street at a college near the office. So instead of blaming the Twitch streamers who are flaunting their own rules and turning their website into a low budget adult website, they decide to cater to these streamers. Like at this rate guys, I won't be surprised if in a few years Twitch decides to drop video games entirely and rebrand as an adult entertainment website. Or at least branch off this kind of stuff into its own Twitch branded adult website. That's gotta be coming down the pipeline, right? 
So let's look at Twitch's statement on the hot tub meta. In their official blog, they made a post titled, Let's Talk About Hot Tub Streams. It's a bit long, so I'm just going to read the parts that I think are important and talk about them. If you want to see the whole blog post, I'll try to put it in the description, but it can also be found on their Twitter. It starts off by blaming the people who are complaining about this whole thing and saying that basically they're just sexist. That's right, if you want to go into the website, basically that's made for teenagers and you don't want your kids seeing this kind of stuff then uh you're sexist that's it you're just sexist for finding these women sexually attractive and let me read the quote much of the conversation we've seen is focused on the people who are streaming this and similar content including assumptions about their motivations and intentions we want to make a few things clear first and foremost no one deserves to be harassed for the content they choose to stream how they look who they are and we will take action against anyone who perpetuates this kind of toxicity in our service i agree with that nobody deserves to be harassed about this but it does seem more and more like twitch considers any kind of criticism of a streamer as harassment, which is just not right. But then they go kind of wild. Second, well, we have guidelines about sexually suggestive content being found to be sexy by others. It's not against our rules. And Twitch will not take enforcement action against women or anyone on our service for their perceived attractiveness. Now, I gotta say, I would never expected to see a huge corporation put out a statement about how it's not wrong to be sexy, but I guess here we are. The thing with this is that, yeah, there's no problem with being attractive. The problem is that regardless of attractiveness, there's no way that this content is not sexually suggestive. There's no way this doesn't violate their own rules. They're using their attractiveness as a way to sexually entice viewers into sending them some cold, hard American dollars. These girls are quite literally wearing the bare minimum amount of clothes that they can get away with and adding sexual donation goals, like twerking when someone donates. That's not a problem for them being attractive, that's literally just them being sex suggestive to get ahead, which is against Twitch's rules. Like, I just don't understand how a big company can be so bad at handling anything. Telling their viewers, it's not these streamers who are streaming basically nude that are the problem, it's you. And it's your problem because you're the one who thinks that scantily clad women are sexually suggestive. That's such a nuclear take, I don't even know where to start. It's like Twitch is so scared of banning even a single female streamer that they're willing to insult their entire audience. Ridiculous. Then they later go on to say, Our intention with the sexually suggestive policy was to draw a line on content that is overtly or explicitly sexually suggestive. Not all the content that could be viewed as sexually suggestive, except that's literally not what their guidelines say at all. The guidelines just say sexually suggestive content or activities are also prohibited. So, um, am I missing something? It sounds like they just blanket prohibit sexually suggestive content. Not that there's an exception for it if you're sitting in a hot tub, or if you're a woman, or if you're sexy. I'm just saying, they don't have a sexy exception in there. And the whole post ends with something about how they're starting up a new section. Community and advertiser feedback made clear that we need to offer more ways to control content that's recommended as well as where ads appear. So we're introducing a new category, pools, hot tubs, and beaches. If you've chosen swimwear that is allowed under the swim and beaches contextual exception to our standard nudity and attire policy, you should stream into the pools, hot tubs, and beaches category. That's their response. Instead of listening to their community and enforcing their own rules, Twitch is putting these users, who are in the wrong, in their own category. They're implying that the best answer to this is to tell the, the viewers they're being sexist and give these people their own section. Now, of course, they also gave them their own section, I think in part because there was some pushback from advertisers who don't want their ads running on these kind of streams because the streams are sexy suggestive. So I don't know how Twitch could be getting pushback from advertisers and still think this is not sexy suggestive. That's all I'm saying. It doesn't really solve the problem at all. People weren't really mad at the girls streaming in their hot tubs. They're mad that Twitch has wildly different enforcement depending on your sex, depending on the creator, depending on what you're doing. If you're a girl on Twitch, it really seems like you get favored treatment. And it, it does seem that female streamers are able to get away with tons of things that a, any male streamer would get banned for, at least in my opinion. Although they have been good at not banning men for doing the same thing in the hot tubs as women. Although, you know, when men do it, it's kind of more of a tongue in cheek satire of the girls who are doing it, so it's not really the same. In the end though, I guess this works out well for Twitch in the short run, not really in the long run, but for now, they can keep making money off the subscriptions to the hot tub streamers, no one can complain that they haven't addressed it anymore, and they can hope that this situation will go away so that they can sweep it under the rug and pretend that nothing ever happened and continue with their wildly inconsistent enforcement action. That is, until somebody at a mainstream media corporation decides to bring this up in an article and start an adpocalypse about this, because Twitch, I don't think Twitch has ever really had an adpocalypse, and I think that this could really start one. I would not be surprised at all if the second any Facebook mom found out that the website that little Timmy goes to for his favorite Fortnite streamer is also a softcore adult website that they would uh, be kind of upset. I'm just saying that Twitch is baiting an adpocalypse on their own platform and this decision is not going to help them whatsoever in the long term. But that's about all we have to discuss today. I'm not going to call out any individual streamers or anything like that because I am myself a hardcore capitalist so I can respect their grind and if they want to keep getting away with it if they're going to keep making those Benjamins good for them who am I to stop them? If Twitch is 
isn't going to do something, why would I do something about it? What do you guys think about this whole situation? Honestly, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to know. If you've watched this far into the video though, use the word dolphin in your comment so that I can tell who's part of the Watch to the End Club. Remember, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and God bless you.